Hi, welcome back to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a gauntlet review on a new Condor product, the Mini Dooku Parang. Stand by, this is a good one. I didn't come out here today to do a review. I'm actually out here in the woods doing some brush clearing and some cleanup. And the first thing that I thought of as I was getting ready to leave the house was I needed to have this parang on my side. Ever since I got it, I've been pretty much attached to it. I like it that much. So, you know, if you want to, you could probably skip the rest of the review because this one's getting my endorsement. But if you want to see what it'll do, come on. Come with me and I'll show you.
All right, guys, final thoughts on the uh, Condor Mini Dooku Parang. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I love this thing. And quite honestly, as soon as I pulled it out of the package when I received it from Chris Tanner over at Prepared Mind 101, it was pretty much love at first sight. I love the color of the sheath. I love the overall size, the design, the curves and the line of the blade. I love this decorative copper or whatever that is, brass braided wire here. It's got a 90 degree spine. It chops fantastic. It slices really well. It does knife stuff well. This is pretty much I think one of the best one tool option blades that I've ever used. Let's start with this one back here on the handle. So the handle is a fairly round profile. There's plenty of material here that you can shape that to whatever your preferred shape would be. With a lot of round handles I find they have a tendency to twist in my hand. This one not so much. I couldn't tell you why that is. There aren't any hot spots. When I'm choked back here and I'm doing heavy chopping, as that chopping goes on, my hand starts to get a little fatigued. I start wanting to have a, a lanyard here. So a lanyard's probably a pretty good idea. You've got a little bit of room here before the actual edge starts. The edge starts right about here. And on some knives, I hate that. And in this one, I don't. This one, I mean, it's a big blade, as you can see, that allows me to choke up in here for doing a really fine carving tasks. So I don't find that to, to be a hindrance really in any way. The way that the blade thins down at the tip and the little bit of curve that's been put into the overall design and profile of this really lets you get some good tip speed on there for when you're doing machete things. You saw I was chopping the uh, rose bushes, those multiflor rose bushes that grow all over the place here in Pennsylvania. And even for the really thick ones, pretty much one swipe was all it took to go completely through them. As you saw, it chops quite well. The only downfall with this when chopping with it is the blade profile is thin. So if you're doing heavy chopping into a hard wood, it has a tendency sometimes to stick. So you'll get that chop, it'll penetrate really well, and you kind of got to work it out. So, you know, it's not a replacement for an ax, but my God, does it come close. It does really well at chopping. As far as the batoning goes, you saw it. That was a pretty hefty piece of wood and I chose to take it off in sections rather than go straight down through the middle because quite honestly guys even with a blade this size that's that's what I do that thing was a twisted mess and this knife blasted right through it and I didn't hold back chop or batoning on it I smashed the hell out of it into this thing and no problems I haven't done any game processing with it, but there is enough of a tip here that I am fully confident that you could use that to start your cuts and probably do a fair amount of game processing. I have done some food prep work and again, this does a fantastic job. This curved blade is awesome on a cutting board for rocking and chopping vegetables and stuff like that. Uh, it slices well because it's got a real thin profile to the edge. Um, so for food prep, yeah, it does a great job at that too. All right guys, I could babble on and on about how much I like this. Suffice it to say that I love the blade. And I really hate to get rid of this when I pass it on down the line. I'm not sure who's getting it yet. I have a feeling it's going to be Joe Mobley at Feral Woodcraft, but I'll put a link down below and I'll also put a link into our website www.thegauntlet.tv. If you want to follow this parang through its travels in the gauntlet, 
log on there, bookmark it, and you can click on the link for this knife and it will show you all of the related reviews as well as any of the other items that we have in the gauntlet review ring. Condor, as far as I'm concerned, hit a grand slam home run with this. I love it. I have to send it on. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to buy one of my own. Um, I like it that much. I think they run $65, somewhere thereabouts. Again, I'll post links for purchase down below, but for a one tool option, this is one of the best ones that I've found so far. Guys, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit like, share, and subscribe. Come on over to Facebook, check out our group, Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. If you'd like to sign up, send me a join request, we'll get you hooked up, and you can start participating. We've got a pretty large group, good group of people, uh, all sorts of knowledge there. I think you really enjoy it. All right. Hey, thanks for taking the time to come along and do a little work with me. I appreciate it. See you next time.